and it's almost like you're looking up at the stars. But how about if during the day, these magical creatures come to visit? And they are hummingbirds. I will never forget the first time I saw a hummingbird in the yard. You would think that we were just visited by an angelic little creature because we were. And this is called the Perky Pet. It's a top fill crystal design hummingbird feeder with hook. It is only $27.17. This literally gives us outdoor joy and entertainment. And what I love is we've got colors to match back to our today's special value umbrella. So I'll take you through the colors and then Sean, my expert, is gonna be joining us. So we have it in a beautiful, we're calling it seafoam green, but it's really more of a Kelly green. There's only 200. We have it in a beautiful ocean blue, 240. We have it in our gorgeous uh, fuchsia, which is really leaning more towards purple, only 550. And we have it in the red, and I'm just 650. And I'm just going to grab my little tisket tasket, my basket filled with our today's special value, because if you're getting the green or the blue, or the red, it would match so perfectly back to all the colors we brought you in our value of the day. So Sean Pickford, this is fun because you and I are usually talking about tools, um, power washing, you know, uh, maybe a great uh, a generator for the whole home. But I love that right. we get to be a little whimsical right now and talk about a very magical person that's going to come to visit. And that is the hummingbird, right? Yeah, the hummingbirds are so neat. And the great thing is, is you could hang this under the umbrella that today's special value just so showed, Jane. You can you, you can use the hook that comes with it. You could hang it underneath because those hummingbirds are not intimidated by us. The more they get accustomed to us being around, they'll fly all around. They'll come feed. And that's the great thing about these, that they attract the hummingbirds. You'll be able to see them. Put them close to where you are. That's the biggest mistake I made when I first got hummingbird feeders is I put them all the way out in the yard and it was too far away. I knew somebody was visiting because the nectar was going down, but I wasn't getting to see them because it was too far away. So now we put them right up against the deck, the patio, right where we sit and they still come to feed. Oh, I love that. And you know what, it really looks like a work of art. If somebody it didn't is. know this was a hummingbird feeder, Sean, they honestly would think that you did a glass sculpture out in the yard. So what do we right. have to do to bring our, our, our wonderful feathered friends close by? Well, all you gotta do is fill it with your favorite nectar. You can make your own, which is real easy. It's four parts water, one part granulated sugar. You're gonna boil it, so you can look it up on the internet. You can go buy it from any of your home stores. And it's a top fill like you just saw there. So before, what you would have to do is basically flip this guy over, fill it up, then flip it over again and hope it didn't spill all over the place. But Perky Pet invented the hummingbird feeder. They did it back in 1959, so they know what it takes to make a hummingbird feeder that's nice and neat, but also that the hummingbirds will enjoy feeding from, right. getting the nectar that they need. So much so, we, even the little posts where they rest when they're feeding, we made that so it's out of a polypropylene, not a hot metal that would be sitting in the sun that might burn their little feet. Oh my so, gosh. I yeah, just think so of little hummingbird feet and I want to cry. That is so cute. Yeah. Um, Sean, I'm yeah. going to do colors again really quickly sure. because this is on sale. And honestly, right. as we start getting into the height of summer, we do less and less decor and gardening shows. So this is the moment to think about Mother's Day. Um, maybe you have an indoor kitty that loves to look outside. This would be perfect by that window. So we have it in green. We have it in fuchsia, which is more purple. We have it in a beautiful red. That's the most popular, but you might say what happened to ocean blue. We took Sean Pickford's advice and we actually hung the blue under the most popular color of our, uh, right. of our umbrella at midnight, which is the blue. And I love what you said. They want to be close to us. So hang it there and, and let the show begin. So what, how do we fill it with? What do we put in it? What, what's the best practices for bringing our literal winged okay. fairies and angels to come close by? Well, it's really easy. All you do is twist off the top. You go ahead and fill it up. You can fill it to the top if you want. You can go ahead and you can hang it from here or hang it with the decorative hook that comes with it. So put it out there so they can see it. We've made the flowers red because they're attracted to color, but also it mimics the hollyhock flower, which is the number one flower they look to feed from. So everything we did to design this to make them so they were more attracted to it is how we designed it with the colors and everything that's involved. It's all glass here. It's got the metal handles. Put it outside. They will find it. If they don't find it at first, put it near some of your flowers because they're going to go to the flowers to get the nectar from them. So that's another good tip. If you have hanging flowers on your porch or your patio, right. put it near there. Helps attract them to that. 
Last year, I had baby hummingbirds. Oh, wait. And it was, First of all, you went yeah. with little feet, and now you're telling me baby hummingbirds? Oh, it like, was, stop it. It was so neat. I thought they were bumblebees at first, Jane, because oh, they were so small. But then, I, then when I really got to look at them and see them feed, I'm like, we have baby hummingbirds. It was so neat. Okay. So, I, and, I could and just, just, like, end my day <laughs> with baby hummingbirds. I'm sorry. That's so good. And you know what, Sean? Yeah. I know you and I have children about the same age, but I'm just thinking about the little ones. Like, this is right. just magic. Oh. So we oh, have it, it in the blue, as you see on the screen right there, but thanks for the advice, Sean. We put it under our Today's Special Value umbrella. We yeah. have it in green. That one is fuchsia, but literally it's a little bit more purple than fuchsia. And then last but not least, most popular, the red. Well, I'm gonna dream tonight of baby hummingbird feet and baby hummingbirds. So I'm gonna have sweet dreams. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, good to see you. Thanks, good to see you too. Okay, so we are gonna chat about something that